be careful who you share a flat with. Have you ever moved into a flat and on the second day knew you could not wait to get out after the six months termination clause? It is not pretty, and it kind of messes up with half your year. I must admit you would need to be pretty unaware if you moved into a place and you did not like it in the first place enough to live there for a while. It is often not the place you move into, but rather the people you move in with. A few years ago, I moved in with my girlfriend, and when I look back, I can't understand why. You would probably have guessed that we are not an item anymore. I think there should be a pre moving in period where you get to pseudo test the person for a couple of weeks, but no commitment necessary. She was an absolute nightmare. All the negative stuff, yes, we all have some of that, got magnified to stratospheric proportions. She became a raging jealousy freak. She demanded I change my life to suit her and remove traditions and activities I had been doing for years to spend time at home because that was where she wanted me to be all the time unless I was working. It was insane, how can a person who is used to not seeing you most nights, as happens when you are dating, suddenly demand you be present and standing to attention 100% of the time? I don't want to rant and this is beginning to. I think I am reassociating with that time and I can feel my blood rising. So in the interests of calm I will move straight to my lesson from that nightmare, check out who you move in with. Speak to their friends, have a trial period at one of you separate houses, and always make sure you keep your mates even closer because you never know when you may need a couch. My story does not end well. After two months I moved out, it was easier to pay two rents, one to my mate for his spare room then continue to live in the same house. On my last night, I could hardly sleep, visions of psycho kept running through my head and I barricaded myself into the spare room. It has taken some time to recover and I am now happily married to a sane person although when I think back I cannot for the life of me work it out, bygones must be left to bygones, and yes, get a good estate agent they can really make the difference.